Crusty Cranks TV where we paint baits and make lures and today we're going to do this uh, neon blood crawl and we're going to use some pretty cool colors on this guy um, so yeah let's get started um, okay so in the previous video you saw that I was using the uh, auto born sealer okay and uh, normally I just prime my baits with titanium white um, but I was getting some little scratches on there and I, um, I know I can use UVLS and spray a coat on it. Um, but I'm, I try to eliminate all the steps that take me a long time to get a bunch of baits made because I just did a production run on like 24 of the pumpkin seeds and, uh, some of them had these little scratches in them. Well, what I figured out was my little mat that I was using after all this time it's gotten a little hard and uh, I think it was scratching my bait so um, I cut a new one out I'm gonna I haven't got it all cut out yet but I'm going to use that and just see if that eliminates my scratches um, so like I said I try to eliminate I know I can spray UVLS on it but I like to have less coats on it as possible just the paints and um, with the epoxy I use, solar res, I don't worry about the gloss because that stuff is just high gloss. It really makes all the colors pop. I don't need that extra step of UVLS unless I'm spraying candies, the candy paints. Then I'll use the UVLS in, mixed with the candy paints. Um, so um, colors we're going to use today, I'm going to go over top of this bait because like I said, it was a prime bait. It looks like a primer. It's white. It's flat. Um, and I don't think it lets the colors pop as much as the titanium white. So I'm going to use the sealer, but I'm also going to put a coat of top coat of titanium white on here. And then we're going to use, uh, this neon red from us art. And we're going to use crimson red from wicked. And then we're going to use some candy blood red on top, just to spray it, give it a coat, make that really them, that red color really pop out mixed with a little UVLS all right um, so let's get started um, I wanted to uh, leave this bait unprimed and spray the white on there just so you guys can see a little bit of the difference of what the titanium white looks like when it's sprayed on top of the seal or coat so let's do that real quick let's hit it and we'll let it dry I always like to let my titanium dry for a little bit air dry and then uh, it was just seems to give me a nicer a nicer coat I'm not using pearl white on this one I didn't use any pearl white on it um, the last time I used pearl white on the lemon giraffe um, so it did help that flat look a little bit but I think I'm just going to stick with the titanium white and just use the use the sealer as my base coat just so I don't have to use so much titanium white because it sometimes it takes this titanium white is thin it sprays really nice but it takes a bunch bunch of coats the sealer went on pretty pretty good covered that bait pretty quick so I like that aspect of it but I'm just, I'm just like this, I just like this titanium white. And I think it's just, I'm just going to stick to it. This way I won't have to order as much of it maybe. But let me know in the comments if you're using the auto born sealer for your primer. I just think it just really brings that white out but okay I'm gonna let that dry and uh, I'll bring you back okay we're back uh, we got let this thing dry it's been drying for a couple hours um, so I wanted to show you the difference 
with the titanium and then just the sil uh, auto born sealer so you can see the flatness in it this bait here particularly has a big crack in the top that's how it came so I'll probably fix that with a little light super glue sand it down a little bit and then spray over and cover it up I'm not too worried about it it'll seal up once the epoxy's on there but occasionally you get some bad baits you know but if it's too bad then I usually use it for a test bait um, so don't throw your old messed up baits away you can always use them to test colors and try out new things all right so let's get the uh, neon in the brush we're going to spray the neon first on the bottom and we're going to fade it up to the lateral line it's not going to take very much and we're going to key the pressure down bit more all right we're gonna hit this belly and fade it up I want a little bit of white showing or I want a little bit of a blend showing Get a real deep neon on the belly. Okay, that looks pretty even on both sides. All right, clean this brush out and um, let's get the crimson red in next. Okay, we got the red in there, crimson red. See what's going on here. I think I got a needle. Okay, I'm going to have to pull this needle out for a minute. I'll bring you right back. Okay, I think we're good now. I had a little flake of neon on there. Just want that red just to come down into the 
pink just a little bit, about like that. Now it's looking good. Just want to have that little bit of a transition. Hit the nose. And then when we hit that candy on top of that red, that red is really going to pop. See how our blend goes from the dark red to the light to the beginning of the neon red and then down into a full neon red that's what we're shooting for and I think we're good we're good there so I'm gonna clean this out and we'll get the candy mixed up and get it in there I'm gonna go 10% with UVL, UVLS and, and the candy and uh, that'll give it a little more body and it'll let it flow a little better and and it'll adhere to the to the wicked crimson so I'm gonna clean this out and I'll bring you right back okay we got the uh, we got the blood red candy and Got it mixed with a little UVLS, and we let that sit for 10 minutes. Now, on the UVLS and the candies, I do like to let them sit for a little bit just to get acclimated, usually about 10 minutes. That's what Createx recommends, um, and I've found out that it kind of gives that UVLS a little time to marinate in there, and it sprays really nice. So I'm going to... Hit this with a little bit light coats. You're gonna see that really pop. That red's really gonna come out of there now. I'm gonna try to stay off my blend. And it doesn't take very much, guys. Love it. Come down the side with some hair more. All right, that's it. And we're gonna let that air dry because you don't want to bring no heat in on your on your uh, candies. You want to just kind of let them air dry. So we'll let that air dry. We'll come back and we'll put the black on it. The black uh, crawl pattern. So. Okay, we're all dried up. Got our stencil on here. Give it one last check. Make sure we're stuck down all around. Looking good, looking good. And we're just gonna hit that with some opaque black. Coming up just a little bit right there. Dry it down with a little air. Okay, and the big reveal. Let me 
you stick my stencil back down and I'll bring it closer for you. I always like to stick my stencil right back on. Gives me more uses out of it. Make sure I don't get it all dirty. Yeah. It's a nice little crawl pattern. I've done a couple so far and this is so far one of my favorites right here. So I like how it's got the little top little notch up there with the shell so let me get this other side on and we'll spray the other side and I'll bring you right back it'll take me a minute I have to do this mostly off camera getting it repositioned okay so once I get it repositioned on here I just kind of work it from the centers out and even if it's a little fuzzy at the top it's no big deal because for one on this bait I'm putting a little black on the top anyway but it also doesn't gives a little shadow if it if it comes up or goes under a little bit. All right, Let's hit this with some black. Not that much though. A little air on it to dry. And these kind of stencils, I always pull them at different angles so I don't rip them. And let me sit this down for a second. Put my stencil back on the paper. Like I said, I always like to stick them back on there and get them smooth. Smooth them right back out. So they stay clean and tacky for the next use. And uh, I can get 10, 12 baits out of these. And they're so easy to cut. There we go. See how it lined up. I use the eye. I got the little eye hole cut in there. It really helps me line it up in pretty much the same position every time. Once in a while, it'll get off a little bit. Pretty much the same position every time. Really close, really darn close. Okay, I'm just gonna put a hint of black down the back and a little black around the eyes. On the nose. And there's your neon blood crawl. Alright. Heat set this boy real good. And we're going to put some eyes on it. Be ready for epoxy. Man, I really like those colors. Those colors really go good together. Look at that. All right, got eyes picked out. I'm going with the same ones I went on this guy, the silver. And see how it looks, but wait till the epoxy hits on there. This one I probably could have went a little deeper on the neon. Um, But this was the first go on this one. So. I think I'm going to like this one even better.
Okay, let's get a little dab of, a little dab of super glue. This little brush has been through the ringer. Like it. All right, let's get some epoxy on it, guys. I'll bring you back and we'll wrap this video up. Okay, friends, we're back, and uh, here's the final piece. Uh, this is the Neon Crimson Crawl CC077. And uh, yeah, I like the way it turned out, it's got a lot of depth to it. Really like the way those colors blend together. That candy really makes that pop. And then when you put that little light haze of black on top of it, really, really, really pops. Like it. Like it. Can't wait to get this one up on the website. Um, so, yeah. That'll wrap this video up. Look, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when we put up our next video, which will be soon. And, um... Give us a like if you enjoyed this paint job. All right, and colors we used today, I forgot to go through those real quick. Auto Born Sealer for the base. Titanium White over top. Then we used the U.S. Art Supply Airbrush Colors Neon Red. On the top, we coated it with uh, Crimson Red, Wicked Crimson. And then we gave it a layer of Candy 2.0 Blood Red mixed with the 4050. And for the uh, curl pattern and the haze on the top, we use Createx Opaque Black. So, yeah, I appreciate all the subscribers. I appreciate the support. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos and learning some good stuff. I got a bunch coming up. Um, we're going to do some frog patterns. And I uh, hope you'll stick around and enjoy. And uh, always remember, stay crusty, my friends. <music>